and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm gonna be going over something that will be coming out more than likely Monday, or has been confirmed as Monday, guys. There is something huge coming up Monday. Now, I think this is gonna be EA's last ditch effort at they're giving us a banger on the last day of the promo. Because Monday will be, let's see, today's Saturday, the 28th, 9th, so 29th tomorrow the 30th monday so not the last day of the month but typically ea never really gives us anything on the last day anyways going to new year's eve but that is kind of probably gonna be the last day of the promo now it seems that they're gonna be going out with a bang we've seen kind of a few player leaks already we've seen some news releases a few things that do make us think that a lot of big things will be coming on monday so i got quite a few quite a few things to be going over in this video and i'm kind of excited for so we have some of the players leaked as well as some of the news already given to us and some predictions that we could potentially have for the potential player we could be seeing now guys as per usual before we get into this video as you guys know it's 25 days of Putinus. we're almost done with it but we have three more days to go strong with this so guys all you gotta do is enter the giveaway as per usual is like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below your console and the secret word here throughout the video i've been pretty strong with the word grinch lately um i had a pre-recorded file of it so i've been using that for most of it so i'll probably change it up for this video but if you guys probably been using a similar similar word but you guys know the word as the video goes on now we're going to head over to Photoshop in just a second to show you guys some of the pictures, some of the edited pictures, so I can show you guys a little bit what we're going to be going over. But pretty much, we have some hints at a potentially a legend player, as well as or a retired player in general, as well as some players we believe will be coming out. But let's head over to Photoshop and go check out all these cards. So we're over on Photoshop, as you guys can see here, we have the zero chill forecast. So Wednesday was the Michael Vick. We saw that. Friday was the out of position Vita Vea Master. We saw that. Now we got Monday. So this Monday coming up, snow day. Unretire that snow shovel. So that's interesting. So unretire the snow shovel. There's two players that come to mind when you think about this. Minus the hints. We'll get to the hints in a second. Two players that come to mind is Rob Gronkowski and Marshall Lynch. Two players that all year have been discussed as potentially coming back. And here we are. Gronk has not come back at all. But Marshall Lynch is resigning with or unretiring with the Seahawks for the time being to be their running back going into the playoffs which is interesting so the reason that I, I would love for it to be Lynch but more than likely we're thinking it's gonna be Gronkowski so let me zoom in here so you guys can have a pretty good idea you look you see a, a, a guy on a horse it looks like Paul Revere on the statue and the statue is in Boston I actually did see it in person in Boston a few months ago when I was there the statue is in Boston so it's in Boston and it's about a player being unretired so it's very likely that it could be a Gronkowski coming. And as you guys do know, they have been giving all the Mutt 10 cards an upgrade. Calvin's gotten an upgrade. Uh, Bo Jackson's gotten an upgrade. Vic's gotten an upgrade. Randy Moss has gotten an upgrade. Deion Sanders has gotten an upgrade. The only ones who haven't gotten an upgrade yet are Peppers. I believe, who else was there? Peppers, Joe Thomas, Patrick Willis, and Gronkowski are the four that come to mind right now that we haven't gotten an upgrade on. So it's very likely that Gronkowski could be getting an upgrade as they have been giving quite a few of them upgrades this promo. So that's very possible. Now, if they give us a Gronk, what would we be expecting? It could be some special snow LTD card. Uh, that, that could be Gronk. Now, Gronk will probably be a 95 overall, more than likely. 94, 95, probably what we're going to be expecting. It would be really cool. Now, that Gronk probably wouldn't be the best card. It'll probably end up only having like an 86, 87 speed, which in that case, I'd probably still prefer Tony Gonzalez for the most part. The Gronk would definitely be cool. But I think I'd probably rather have Tony Gonzalez over that Gronk if I had to choose one. Now, what else is to come in that day? I mean, they did announce that, well, they did leak that there will be other players coming out, which I'll show you guys in a second. But for the most part, I do think that those will probably come out Monday too. So, I mean, today's Saturday. Nothing's come out for that yet. So, it's only going to be tomorrow or Monday, more than likely. Now, the thing is, Sunday, we typically don't get that much content like that if we ever get content on Sunday. So, I don't really think that we'll be getting it on Sunday. But if we did, that'd be cool. But more than likely, we'll get it Monday. Which will come with the Paul Revere hinted unretire that snow shovel. So it's got. I'm thinking it's gonna be Lynch or Gronk, and more than likely Gronk because it is Paul Revere. That's the only thing I can think of. I think that's my best educated guess I can think of. Now setting over to the next screen right here, we'll see the other set of hints. So this this is a discolored picture from Twitter that people did, so you can see the background. So what essentially happened here was Crelo tweeted out a picture of the Sean Taylor in his binder. But he, what he forgot to notice was that in his background, he had all of the newer players that are going to be released accidentally in his binder already because he gets them all early release, obviously, because he's community manager. So if you zoom in here, this is called picture up. So we got John Randall, who looks like he's coming. So we got John Randall right there. We got Kevin Mawai, Kevin Mawai, however you say his name. Marvin Harrison, 
and Julio Jones. Now, you might think like, oh, but that Marvin Harrison might just be another guy, right? He might just be like the original legend, not the uh, new one. But you can clearly see the color, the, um, the color is a new kind of color for him, as well as the list is going by overall. So you can see that's going by overall, so 95, Fuller is 95, and Cordell Stewart's 95, these are all 95s in a row. So there's John Randall, Kevin Away, Marvin Harrison, Julio Jones, they're all going to be 95s. Now, I'd imagine it's going to be Ghost, Randall, and Away, and Harrison should be Ghost and Madden Pass, and Julio Jones should be a present. Now, the one thing we could be thinking, right? Last year, they did do Snow Beast, guys. You know what Snow Beast were? Snow Beast were three legends that were, you were able to, they were able to be, uh, so like 76 overalls, you were able to power them up with Kindling or Snowflakes in last year's terms. So, they're pretty much just snow power up cards that you could power up all the way to like 94 overalls last year. Now, last year, they were Kevin Away. They were, oh, I forgot the other ones. It was, I, I don't, I'm not, it's not gonna come to me right now. It was Kevin Away, like Dallas, Clark, and I don't remember the other ones, but. What I'm thinking here, right, is that Julio Jones could be a Ghost of Madden present, and then John Randall and Moway and Harrison could be the Snow Beast. It's possible. Now, they could just be Ghost of Madden past, and they might not be Snow Beast at all. Now, I think the Snow Beast should be coming at some point if they, if they do, well, no, not should. There is a chance they come, I should say. Now, could it be these three? Yes. Could these just, these could just end up being another Ghost of Madden past set on their own with a mask that we don't know about yet, as well as Julio being an extra Ghost of Madden present. That's my, that's one of the assumptions. The other ones are that these are three snow beasts and there's an extra ghost man in present. Now these are snow beasts. Again, you can just get them from the solos. You have to power them up with kindling and then when the promo is over, probably training. And they'll probably be like 94, 95 overalls. No, they're 95 overalls as you can see from here. So that's guaranteed. But being that they're 95 overalls, I have to predict that they're more than likely ghost of Madden past. But being that they're presents, I don't know why Julio Jones is 95 because the other presents, I don't believe the other ghost of presents were 95, right? I'm going to check the set real quick just to go verify ghost of Madden's in the JJ Watt set. They were all 94. So, unless they're doing a new set with Hulu that we don't know about, he could just be an LTD. That's very possible too. Although it doesn't say LTD there, which again is another weird thing. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be kind of cool to see how they end up introducing these players. These are coming Monday, I believe. I think they'll all be coming together more than likely because there's not many days left. If nothing comes out Sunday, it's gotta all be Mondays. I'll say do Snow Beast tomorrow. We have to see. But I'll head over to the Madden screen to close out this video. And if you go over to sets and you check out here, Ghost of Madden. The only thing I can think of is that they either do another Ghost of Madden present set with Julio and a bunch of other players we didn't see there, or they do another Ghost of Madden past set with John Randall, Way, and Marvin Harrison. That they do with another master, and then they end up just throwing Julio in as an extra or like an LTD or something. That doesn't say there though. That's the only thing. That's two of the things I could be see. I could see happening. And if they are Snow Beast guys, the way you end up finding them are the same way as last year. You go over to play solos. And they'll be just, it would literally be just like Legend Solos, identical to Legend Solos. I believe last year they were just like this. So come over to Legends, it was like, Legends, like, it will be Snow Beast right here going. It'll be full games. All the players will be there. So all three of them, let's say, will be there. It'll be full games. You play them real quick. They take like 10 minutes or two and clock. And when you get them, they're 76 overalls or whatever. And then you just power them up all the way to the final thing. So that will require Kindling, which actually will increase the Kindling market. If that is the case, we don't know. Don't do anything on don't like I wouldn't act on this. Just letting you guys know that would probably increase the kindling market a little bit if they're good cards. If it's like if it's just random away, Marvin Harrison, people don't really care about the stats too much, won't do much. But let's say like last year when they did Ghost of Madden Forever, which was similar to Snow Beast, we had to upgrade them from 76 overalls. It was Tony Gonzalez, Vic, and Champ Bailey. People really wanted to upgrade them, especially Vic. So it was Snowflake. So people went heavy for uh, Snowflakes or Kindling this year. And the market skyrocketed up for a little bit. I don't know if that'll be the case again this year. We really don't know yet. I'm just giving you guys all the hints, tips, and clues that I can give you guys for the time being. Those players are confirmed. We just don't know how we're getting them yet. Will they be a set? Will they be extra add-on players? Will they be a snow beast? We don't know yet. But they're definitely coming. That part, as far as that part is confirmed, guys. Now, that's pretty much it for the video. I think I covered everything I need to cover. Hopefully, this helps you guys. I think this is probably my second video for the day. So, if you haven't already, go check out the first video where I did announce the giveaway winner for yesterday. There's a 10 third Legend video. Go check that out. As well as I will be obviously doing the secret word in this video, which you guys should have already seen already. So you guys already know the rules when it comes to the giveaway. All you gotta do to enter the giveaway, as per usual, is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word you guys more than likely heard already, as well as comment your console. Once you do this, you're entering guys. We have three days left to 25 days of proof. Let's go with a bang. Let's keep having fun. And honestly, once it's over, I won't be too mad because I'm. I want to see comments again. It's been it's been a long time since I've been able to genuinely look at comments. I just see hundreds and hundreds and thousands of comments of the giveaway entries, so it's kind of hard to see real comments. So it's gonna be nice to get back to like reality a little bit, going to January just a little bit, and then the next big the next big thing after this is gonna be team of the year and playoffs. So. 
Let's have fun with these last few drops. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Hopefully, we enjoy the end of this promo and then start worrying about the new year and all the new stuff that will be coming out with Madden in the new year. But, guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.